Deborah Sampson was born on December 17, 1760 in Plimpton, Massachusetts. She came from a poor family and was indentured as a servant from a young age, which likely contributed to her resilience and resourcefulness. Disguised as a man, she enlisted with the Continental Army as Robert Shirtliff. This was an extraordinary feat at the time, as women could not serve in the military. She served 17 months in the 4th Massachusetts Regiment and fought at the Battle of Terrytown. Wounded twice in battle, she removed a musket ball from her own thigh so she could continue to cloak her true identity. While on a mission at Philadelphia in 1783, Deborah Sampson became quite feverish and slipped into unconsciousness. Her attending doctor learned of her true physical identity while treating her. Upon discovering this, he had no choice but to report the finding to her superiors. After her gender was discovered, she was honorably discharged from the army. Paul Revere was instrumental in securing a pension for her military service, acknowledging her contributions to the war effort. Her story challenges traditional narratives about women's roles in the Revolutionary War. She later lectured about her experiences, advocating for women's rights and the recognition of women's contributions to the nation's founding. Sampson's determination to serve her country despite societal norms and personal risk makes her an inspiring figure. After Sampson left the military, she married Benjamin Gannett in 1785 and had three children. Her transition from soldier to wife and mother reflects the diverse roles she played throughout her life, further highlighting her adaptability and strength. Don't miss a single episode of our Microbio series honoring the unsung patriots of the American Revolutionary Period. Subscribe and click notifications to be among the first to learn when each new episode is released and ready to view.